everybody this is Daniel from the GoTo family today we are at Disney Spring guys and we are going to be doing a video about the must not miss street foods here at Disney Springs believe it or not there is street food here at Disney Springs some of it is really really good guys so we're gonna go around and we're gonna show you guys the must not miss stops to get your street food fix here this is gonna be fun guys there's gonna be plenty of food all right, let's get into it. Let's get started, guys. First stop here on our must not miss street food here at Disney Springs is Morimoto's. Now, Morimoto's actually has two places. It has a restaurant that only opens at 4.30 and they have a street food stall, which is where we're at right now. So this place opens earlier and it stays open until 8 p.m. So we came here, we got some food. We got some street food here, some Japanese street food. So we got a nice little bun to start off our journey here, our street food journey at Disney Springs. So here you can see this nice little bun. It is very nice, very soft, a little springy. So we're gonna break this in half and let's see what's inside guys. This is a pork bun. Oh, and as soon as you break this in half, you just smell that buttery porky you know smell that you're kind of accustomed to in a pork bun and there you can see the middle it's nice it's porky it's going to be a little bit buttery as well let's try this out guys this is very porky guys wow this reminds me of being in Japan and they cut some of those pork slices and cubes actually so you get a little bit of that crunch uh, from the pork it's not like pulled pork, it's like little pieces of cubed pork in there. What I really like about the bun here is that the bread is just very, very undercooked. So it's super, super soft. It's almost like it wasn't cooked at all. So I really like that. It's really, really soft. And I think that's going to make it deceiving because you're going to feel like you can eat loads and loads of these buns. You could probably have four or five, six, if not more of these buns, but then you will feel like you're getting ballooned. Pretty good. You guys just love everything about it. It's really good. <laughs> Are you a big fan of bun? Yes. If I see a bun on the menu, I'm going to be I want it. <laughs> so right now, I'm trying the chicken dumpling. Um, I believe it has lemongrass in it. It's really nice. It's fried really well. Not overdone at all. Let's see. Mm. I love it. You know, I love that it's, it's perfectly crispy and it like just has this nice like crunch when you bite into it and it does have lemongrass in there which really adds to the flavoring because sometimes you'll just get this kind of chickeny taste or even when it's pork just this like plain taste but it really elevates it a little higher because of that lemongrass gives it a nice taste aftertaste and it tastes really fresh I think more than anything I would say it tastes really fresh like it hasn't been sitting there forever it's really nice all right guys so right now we're at the basket at wine bar charge so once again this is the street food stall of the actual restaurant which is wine bar George so right next to it you have the basket and you can come here during the day and you can get some food you can get some drinks and we got the crispy mac and cheese bites you can see you guys this looks actually this looks awesome this looks like a really great way to eat mac and cheese you can see they come in these little balls they're crispy they look like they've been fried and they come sitting on a bed of some red sauce maybe that's tomato sauce and you have some chives and some cheese in here as well and it smells really good guys it smells really really nice all right guys we're gonna try it out first off i'm just gonna break off the middle just to see how cheesy this is so you can see here this is really cheesy guys look at that and as you break it up you can see the macaroni in there the mac and cheese inside the mac and cheese balls that is really neat you can see that right there you can see all the macaroni in there that is so cool, guys. I've never seen anything quite like it. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is the most unique way 
I think I've ever ate mac and cheese. And it really works, guys. Once you eat those balls, they like pop in your mouth with cheesy flavor. It's amazing. And then you get the nice little texture from the actual macaroni. And I do believe that is a tomato sauce. I like tomato sauce at the bottom. It's a little on the salty side, but that's fine with me. I actually quite enjoy this, guys. This is not just for kids. The kids are going to like this, but I think the grown-ups are going to like this too. This is quite nice. So this must not miss street food is a little bit reminiscent of home for me because, well, it is a poutine. So just like back home, guys. So this is the Canadian poutine uh, at this spot called the Daily Poutine. So you can come here and you can get a bunch of different poutines. They have the Canadian poutine, which is, uh, you know, uh, french fries with cheese curds, uh, in this case, cheddar curds, and also uh, beef gravy. They also have a Korean poutine, which comes with pulled pork, I believe some kimchi in there. They have the New Delhi version, which is more of an Indian version with some paneer cheese uh, and some other Indian uh, flavors in there. They also have an Italian version. Uh, and I believe they have the fully loaded. So you can get whichever one you want, but to me it's not a poutine if it does not have that gravy and that cheese. So to me those are the three basic elements to have a poutine. It's the cheese curds, the gravy, and the french fries. Without that, it is just not a poutine for me. So <laughs> I got the Canadian and I'm gonna try this out guys and I'm gonna tell you if it's as good as the poutine that I'm used to. All right, so let's try this out. Now, first thing that I noticed, guys, is that this gravy is quite thick. This is a thick gravy that they poured on here. Uh, I'm not used to seeing a thick gravy on poutine. Usually, it's a very, uh, you know, it's a very soft, very uh, liquidy gravy uh, that I'm used to seeing. So this is a little different. All right, I'm gonna get a, a French fry. I'm gonna get a bit of that cheese. I'm gonna try to get some of that gravy in there as well. Here we go, guys. Mm. Wow, all right. So, what do I like about this poutine? The french fries are nice, they're crispy, yet they are also soft in the middle. I like the french fries, they're cooked very nicely. The cheese curds are, you know, they're kind of soft and springy, just the way that I like them. In this case, they're pretty huge chunks of mozzarella. Now, sometimes when you get a poutine, because it, the french fries and the gravy are so hot, you put that, the cheese curds on top, they will start melting. In this case, they did not melt at all. They're still in their uh, complete form, still intact, still nice and springy. The gravy is thick, uh, however, the flavors in it are very nice. It has a hint of rosemary and uh, it goes quite well with the poutine. This is a very good poutine. I still personally like my gravy to be nice and soft because it kind of, you know, those french fries kind of soak up those gravy flavors a little more. They get softened up a little bit and sometimes it also helps melt that cheese a little bit, which I kind of like. But this is a very solid poutine right here at the Deli Poutine at Disney Springs. Very enjoyable, very nice. I come from Quebec and I'm not a really a big poutine person even when I'm at home. Daniel Moore is, but I must say this is a great poutine. Definitely a must if you want to get a flavor of up north. Right, so right now guys we're at Yes Saki. <laughs> I like the name of this place. Yes Saki. And here it's not actually just all about the Saki guys. So we stopped right here for some Japanese street food <laughs> snacks. So actually we got some buns. Now these are chicken buns. I'm just gonna unwrap this one guys. Nice, beautiful, fluffy bread. Very soft, very fluffy. Even sticks a little bit to the paper, which is exactly what you wanna see guys. So this is the chicken bun right here. They have other options like chicken karage, which is Japanese fried chicken. We also have the pizza bun, which I'm gonna try it right after. So they have other kinds of things, but definitely the buns is something that I usually like to taste. So let's try it out guys. The chicken bun here at Yesaki. Oh wow. Mm. There's so much going on in there guys. It looks like we have minced or diced chicken in there, but there is a lot of sauce, a lot of teriyaki sauce in there. We can see that and you have a, a little bit of onions, you have a little bit of, I believe some red peppers in there, but very, very saucy in the middle. 
the bread is very, very soft, guys. So this is pretty good right here. Usually you get pork buns. This is a chicken bun right here at Yasaki. Also, don't miss the pizza bun. The pizza bun is also popular here, so definitely get this as a bun too. Let's open it up. You know, it kind of looks like a pizza pocket to me. Look, you see the cheese in the center and that nice pizza dressing. It looks like it has some basil in there, um, some tomato sauce, and it looks like that tomato sauce might have some cream in it too with the cheese. Let's taste it. I'm right. It does kind of taste like a pizza pocket, but a better pizza pocket if that makes sense. It doesn't taste soggy like you know when you put it in the microwave. And it kind of is hot some places, cold some places, and then hard at the bottom. This is nice and uniform all the way around. <laughs> it's nice and uniform all the way around. And it's hot, warm everywhere. It's perfectly warmed. And it tastes like a pizza pocket, but a better one essentially. Last on our street food list is the food trucks at Disney Springs. Four Rivers Cantina Barbacoa food truck, hot diggity dogs, and mac and cheese. They're usually located at Exposition Park in the west side of Disney Springs. So this is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the street food here at Disney Springs. There is so much food. You can have a blast coming here just for the food, not even for the shopping. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.